How to gain weight as a lean male. I'm Nate, the Fit Future MD. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Uh, I, obviously, I do this to help all of everybody, you know, you know, gain knowledge and learn from my mistakes and stuff. So, if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer each and every one of them. I appreciate all your support. This video is for people that have trouble gaining muscle mass, right? So, number one, if you're having trouble gaining muscle mass, go get your hormones checked. Go get everything checked. You know, make sure there's nothing physically wrong with you, causing you not to be able to gain muscle mass. All right, and besides all that stuff, we're going to move on, right? But there are some things that prevent people from gaining stuff, right? The number one thing for gaining weight in general is sleep, rest, okay? Your body will not put on muscle if you are not sleeping well, okay? So... There are many, many tips for many, many, many videos out there for for how to sleep well. But in general, uh, to sleep well, you make sure that you're in a comfortable bed. You know, you don't have crazy sounds going on. You. And the biggest thing for me is make sure you go through each and everything that is bothering you that day before you lay down to go to bed, right? Even if you're just sitting there meditating in your mind and come up with some solution. Because the reason most people have trouble sleeping is because their mind is just going mile a minute, mile a minute, mile a minute. And that's because they're worried about something or they have something on their mind, right? Well, if you've already talked about and played all that out you know you don't have that problem second thing is you got to be comfortable in, in where you're sleeping if you're not comfortable in where you're sleeping you know you got to do something different get a new bed get a new pillow you know for us it you know it was installing a window unit so it's cold in our room all the time um Obviously, your mind, if it's dark, you know, your your body perceives that as dark. Seeing the sun go down, you know, set reset your clock, that kind of stuff. So sleep is the number one most important thing. Um, do everything you can to get good sleep. Um, sometimes you can eat a bunch of fruit before you go to bed if you're having trouble sleeping, and that'll spike your insulin and make you sleep right so you're having that's a last resort but if you're really having trouble sleeping that'll get you to sleep no problem right so all right so number one is sleep number two is you have to figure out what your basal metabolic rate is and make sure you're eating more calories than that basal metabolic rate and you're eating more calories than what you're burning on top of that metabolic rate. So it's basically like tracking your output, right? So there's plenty of trackers out there for that if you if you are, you know, really having trouble with that. The the easiest way to do that is to continue to increase food until you see the weight on the scale start going up. Right? So say you're tracking your macros and you're you're at 250 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, and 100 grams of fat, and you're still not, and you're still losing weight, or you're still uh, not gaining weight, or remain, remaining the same, then you say, well, let me add 10 more grams of protein, 10 more carbs, and keep pushing that up until you actually start gaining weight, right? And that's the way you keep it as lean muscle, right? You don't want to be 
doing 500 grams of protein, a thousand carbs, and 200 grams of fat, you know, and all of that just turning to fat, right? That's not what you want. You're trying to gain lean muscle mass. You're trying to be aesthetic, right? So that's what that's what I would do. I would definitely like increase it incrementally until we were perfect, right? And then when when on the scale you stop, you'd add ten more, and ten more, and ten more, as your BMR goes up. Because the more muscle mass you gain, your BMR is going to go up, right? So. That's number two. Um, number three, and the biggest thing is progressive overload, right? You ha as a natural lifter, you have to lift heavy or you have to tear your muscle fibers and have your muscle fibers be rebuilt by your body, right? And you do that with progressive overload. And I like to go you know, warm up sets till you get to 80% of your max, whatever your max is. And what's really cool is, you know, I've been I've been doing progressive overload for about six weeks, eight weeks now, and and, and you know, I can see how much stronger I got like this. Like in in eight weeks, I went from you know, barely being able to do 315 on the bench to, I could probably do it, I could, it's probably my 80% now, you know what I'm saying, I need to reassess where, where that 80% is, right, whereas, you know, when I was doing the, you know, the bodybuilding style only before, and you can see that in my, my blog where I was doing sets of 10 to 15, you know, all the time, you know, I didn't see those strength gains, right, that I'm seeing now. And that's because there's new muscle, right? There's, so I do both now, right? So I do the progressive overload with the bodybuilding on the end. And I think that works the best to do both because you're pumping the muscle, you know, full of nutrients after you tear it down. So it gets the nutrition it needs immediately after it gets torn. So those are my big three tips. Um, you got to eat big to get big. You got to sleep really well. Um, you know, make sure your supplements are right. That's part of nutrition, right? So if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If anybody's having trouble, uh, you know, gaining mass, let me know. I'm, I'm glad to help you. Email uh, fitfuturemd at gmail.com. I'm glad to help you, you know, assess what you're doing and see what's going on. Uh, like I say, I do these videos to help everybody. Like, uh, you know, I grew up in the South where nutrition really is not very good, you know, but you know, we can change that. We can live longer, healthier lives. You know, let's make it happen. Let's stay fit forever. Peace.